Hello my friends, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, DanCraft73. We're back here playing the Age of Engineering, some 1.10 modded Minecraft. And man, I've been struggling. You know, you ever get to that point in a series, I, not really a series because you know not everybody makes videos, but in a playthrough where you're, you're feeling... Oh, in my poor roof. I gotta get up there and put some patches in that thing again. I might just switch this all out some at some point in the near future. But anyway, you ever get to the point where you're feeling like completely, uh, I don't know, you're just dissatisfied with like everything that you have going on? I am in exactly at that point right now. So let me tell you what I've done between this episode and the last. First of all, I've reduced the size of this generator substantially. I just can't support all the turbines. I can't produce enough carbon-based things. Now, I could make myself a whole army of these farms, and I guess I could probably do that. And we definitely have plenty of diamonds. So I could produce, like, I don't know, make like five or six of these progressive automation tree farms and have them producing the wood that I need that I could probably do that. And maybe down the road we'll look at doing that. But, you know, I've decided... Every once in a while, you just got to take a step back, I think, and say, you know what? Is it better to have tons and tons of power, I guess, potential, but not be able to generate it, or be able to generate just enough power to keep steady production of a resource? And I think in my, in my perspective now, uh, before it was, it was let's make all the power and then we can have all the wood and then we just didn't have all the wood we could not keep it going I got my tree farm working this tree farm is generating some other issues specifically related to those little guys right there daggone butterflies flying around pollinating trees that are grown before they can be chopped down <laughs> oh man dang butterflies I hate them I hate them. I used to like them. I think they were really cool. I'd be like, oh, look, a cool butterfly. Now, they're making my life miserable. But, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. So here's what I've got. So I have a drawer right here, and it's got 19,000 wood pulp in it. And it's, I've, this thing's producing 1.1 millibucket a tick. And it's doing okay. I mean, everything's working like it should be. This guy has been scaled down to just four generators. And, of course, my fuel mixer and my mix compressor and it's using 1.1 that's why this thing over there is generating it and it's running currently four recyclers each with a emerald cobblestone generator which keeps them more than full and it's all feeding in to one mass fab which is not going super fast but it's going and I'm producing UU matter I have 13 buckets not too bad not too shabby I'm okay with that. Now, this thing will just keep running. I mean, it, it, it's essentially self-sufficient now. I think it's self-sustaining. I'm pretty sure. And I'm just going to let it run. We're going to do some stuff today, though, that we're going to start using a little bit of this UU matter. And another thing, if we have it, we should be using it. We shouldn't just be trying to collect it. What's the good of collecting it if we're not actually going to use it? So I've got that. My tree farm out here, let's take a step outside real quick, just so I can bring you up to speed. One of you guys solved my problem in the comments section. You said, hey, don't try to put humus in this thing. Just put dirt. You've got water in it. It'll take care of producing the right dirt that it needs. So I've got tons of dirt in here. It's producing tons of saplings. And you see we're raking in wood pretty quick. i got to get my... That's why I have all this fertilizer. i got to get these filled up. By the way, I found a cheaty way to get <laughs> down underneath here. Use my staff of traveling and just go... <laughs> and then I can go right down. All right, so I'm going to put a whole bunch of fertilizer in here, and then I'm going to take out some of it. Uh, let's take out some. Uh, this thing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, not good. Not good. Wait a minute. Uh, disable. That's all getting voided is what that's happening to that stuff. That's not good. Hmm. So I want to say... Let me extract on blue... And let me insert. Yeah, oh man, I dang it. <laughs> oh, uh, sometimes I hate this game. All right, I have an idea. Let me go make something real quick. Let's go through here. Let's make another farm block. I think I have an extra one or two. 
And let's make another hatch really quick. Uh, can I just... I bet I could just make make it. Can I... Do I have... Can I make a hatch? Okay, let's see. Uh, hatch. Okay, I need to use stone bricks like this. Can I make a couple of these? Uh, okay, let's go here. And I need to make a couple of these. Oh, actually, I bet I have those already. I think I already have those. Can I just make some tin gears? One, two. Okay. And then we'll make a farm hatch. Can I make what I need? Yes. Okay, farm hatch. All right, let's go back down underneath here. And we're going to install a farm hatch in this crazy farm. And we're going to use that to pump sapling, saplings in. Yes? Okay. So it doesn't matter, I guess, where we put it. We can put it, like, right here. Let's break this guy. He's not going to be happy for a second, but that's okay. We'll fix it. And it won't be a problem. I think I just lost a bunch of stuff, though. Just irritating. Now we're good. Yeah, everything's happy still. Okay. And so if I take and get rid of these. Okay. And let's run conduit uh, here and here. You need to be disabled. Do I have a block? Uh, no. No. Let me get something to stand up on. Um, I just need something. Okay, there we go. Okay, and you, sir, need to be disabled. Okay, so I'm going to extract from here. Uh, extract on brown, that's fine. I'm going to insert on brown. Alright, and that should keep saplings loaded up in there. And actually, let's get rid of this. Okay, and then I'll go like this, and we'll say this is going to be like priority 10, and this is going to be insert on brown, and it's going to be low priority 10, okay? So hopefully that means saplings will go in here. What is this guy extracting on? Oh, he doesn't need, he just needs to be this. There. Oops, nope. Always active. Now, well, am I getting saplings back in here? Yeah. Okay, so that should fill up there, and then all the other saplings should go away. Okay, that works. Now I'm not voiding my fertilizer. Good grief, that was a nightmare. Okay, so now this thing should be working. So you load this thing up with dirt. It does its deal. It's taking care of what it needs to take care of. And then everything else goes in here. And it either finds a home in my storage drawers that I have over there by my other tree farm. Or it doesn't, I guess. Okay, can I go do the same little cheaty, like, sneak through thing? Yeah, okay. And then I just need to load this chest here up with some other extra fertilizer. And we should be happy. Okay, so let's go over here. All right, this has got carrots in it, growing carrots. Everybody's happy here. Trying to get some uh, fuel reserves built back up. I ran out of <laughs> that that plum farm. Uh, it's not just really, it's not really getting the job done. I have to keep supplementing it with carrots. I think maybe, I don't know. Part of me just wants to go completely crazy and just remove all of those forestry farms and just uh, throw my hands up but we're just gonna we're gonna leave them go it's fine it's uh, everything's good okay so everything's happy here this is all good i think we're in pretty good shape and yeah, we've got plenty of power i just made a bunch of iron so i'm good to go there okay now let's see i gotta check to see how many blaze rods i have i have four okay so if i want to make an ender nope ender tank I think I need four, I need six blaze rods, right? And then a Klein flask, which I got to see if I have Enderman heads. I need two Enderman heads. Let's see. Are they in here? I have three. Okay, so I can actually make two of these guys. Not a problem. Cauldron, Obsidian. Okay, so all that stuff I can do. Because what I want to do is I want to take UU Matter out of that tank up there and bring it down here and put it in my my replicator right i want to put some stuff in there right now it's replicating plutonium i don't need it to do that what other pattern do i have in here oh a circuit yeah 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 I mean, it's half a bucket to make a circuit that just seems like a huge waste do i have a 
other kind of circuit? No. Okay, let me see. Circuit. Can I make one of these other guys? <laughs> okay. Um, I should be able to make one of these. Right? I should be able to make this. Okay. And then can I make one of these? I can. Okay. So let's put this in the scanner. Right? He can scan. And we'll let that thing go. And we'll see how much power this thing is going to require. Right? And then we should be able to replicate this guy right once we get that thing scanned in there we can replicate I can put some UU matter in there and make a couple of those because I'm gonna need some of those today because there's another resource that we need uh, and that is iridium now I have four in all my searching around and going to different dungeons and looking in dungeons and things like that I have four iridium ore and I think that's enough to make I want to make a molecular transformer Okay, so I need some EV transformers. Those, so that each one of those is going to require one of these. That's a regular circuit. Okay, that's not too bad. And then it's going to require that, which isn't too bad. And it's going to require an advanced circuit. Okay, so I need one, two advanced circuit, three, four advanced circuits, advanced machine casing. That's easy. Uh, MT core, irradiant thick glass. We can make that. Um, Thick neutron reflector, neutron reflector, that's just tin and copper, that stuff. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. And we're going to need to make a bunch of those. Okay, and we're going to need to end up making two of those. So we need to make eight of these. So that, that's easy, right? That's not a problem. Um, the big thing is going to be this, which is still not that big of a deal, iridium. So this is where I'm going to need my iridium to make one of those plates. So that will allow me to make the empty core, and then I can make the molecular transformer. And then if we take a look here at the molecular transformer use, we can do all kinds of stuff. We can convert netherrack into gunpowder. We can do lapis into sapphire. We can do red wool into redstone. <laughs> it's kind of crazy if you think about it. But the one that we really care about is here at the very end. Nope, very end, which is, maybe it's not the very end, right here. So it's an iron ingot with 9 million EU can create, create an iridium ore. And we're going to need some of that iridium ore because we need to make a liquid heat exchanger. So I need four for that, not a problem. Um, we may, oh, I don't think we're going to do extreme reactors. Um. So let me see, what do I need these guys for? Anything else? This is some Tech Reborn stuff, which we're going to be heading down the path towards pretty soon. Make ourselves a quantum suit maybe someday. Iridium Neutron Reflector, which makes uh, Dimension Builder. Oh, we don't need that. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, we'll also make uh, plate presses and all kinds of different stuff. So we're definitely going to need a little bit of Iridium. I don't think we're going to need that much. Not Iridium. Iridium. Quantum quarry, yeah, maybe. All right, so this is going to unlock some things for sure. Hybrid solar panel, I don't know how much EU these guys produce, but maybe that's going to be advanced solar panel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah anyway. Oh, I don't know. Good grief. Okay, maybe. So we can get into some of that stuff. So we, we maybe we can end up making some solar panels that will produce some more power so we don't have to rely on um, biological means. Okay? So this everything's working good. So I need to go farm up some blaze rods. So I think I'm going to do that uh, off camera. There's no reason to, you guys have to come along for that. That should be actually really simple. I was thinking, though, what we could do... Let me see. Are there, are there these... Um, chest yeah that we do have these guys right here diamond chest transporters can i make one okay let's make one actually let's go together why don't we go together is it nighttime i think so we're gonna go into the nether we'll see if we can't find ourselves a blaze spawner i'm pretty sure there's one in the fortress that we've got not not too far from our our deal and if i can bring that back with us that would make me really happy if we could do that uh -huh. And then we can set up a little bit of a blaze spawner here in the overworld. Okay, there's our needle. So we want to go up here. Mm 
<laughs> I feel like I'm like deep in the rabbit hole. Oh, and it, after a while, man, it gets exhausting when you're that far down deep and you sometimes you just don't even know what to do. And that's sort of what I've been feeling like whenever I've been playing these last couple days. I feel like I'm a little lost, if that even makes any sense. But we're going to get back on the right track. We're going to get this molecular transformer done. Hey, is there a blaze spawner somewhere that I could get? That would be awesome. Oh my goodness, no. Sorry, no. I can't do that. No. You're not listening to the music app. See, what? Be quiet, phone. I just said blaze spawner. I didn't say play music, you dang thing. <laughs> I hate, I hate this, this junk. Oh. I'm leaving that in the video. I'm not even cutting it. You're going to get to hear the stuff that I have to put up with all the time. I hear gas, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, is there not a thing? No, nope, I guess not that way, is there? Okay, I tell you what. Let me go searching around here. I'm going to use my diamond chest transporter, and I'm going to snatch up a blaze spawner. I'm going to bring it back to the overworld, and we're going to make like a dark room. Just a dark room. We're not going to do sort of any... I don't think there's any need to do sort of any automated things. We're just going to have ourselves a dark room fired up, and we're going to try to... Try to spawn some blazes, just so we have a way to farm them without running all the rounds. So let me get that done. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Well, let me tell you a little secret. These don't work on a blaze spawner. <laughs> it doesn't work. I don't know if there's a different like level of tress transporter. There's obsidian. I don't know. I would think diamond would be the highest, but it doesn't work on a uh, thing. It doesn't. Uh, I could probably make a get a soul vial and capture a blaze and do it that way, which is probably if we ever need to get a blaze farm. I mean, I was able to farm up a couple of these guys. I made my two Klein flasks, so I should be able to make an ender tank, uh, a couple ender tanks. So we should be able to make, let's see, uh, we got to make cauldrons. Uh, one, two. Okay, now, can we just make these guys? A one, a two. Okay, so there's my two ender tanks. Perfect. All right, let's put these guys down on the ground, and we'll color them something. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I have any dye? Let's do this. Let's make uh, this guy red and like that. We'll just do that. That's fine. All right, let's break these guys. And hopefully we can transport transport you, you matter through these things. I don't see why we couldn't. All right, so do I have any? Uh, I'm sure I do. Okay. So if I take, let me see if I have a some uh, conduit, not conduit. What is it? Uh, yeah, I mean it is conduit, but it's this stuff right here. I just need one piece. Okay, well we'll get all of them. That's fine. All right, and I can hook this guy up to here, and I should be able to hook this up to there. And if I switch him like that, and I say you are extract always active, yeah, you you matter coming in there like a boss. Okay, it's going to drain that, but that's okay. This guy's still running, doing its deal. He'll produce more. Not a big deal. All right, let's go down in the basement, and we'll take a look at the, my scan. My scan job should be done, I would think. All right, where's my scanner? Right there. Okay, so 600. We're going to save this guy. So let's go over here to our this guy, and he says these are 610 millibuckets. That's okay. So how many do I said I need? I need four? Okay. So let's pillar up here a little bit. And let's see if we can just do something. Oh, good grief. One, two, like a so. And let's see if we can do something as simple as that. Will you go in there? Yes. Yes, you will. Okay, and I'm cool with having it all in there. Okay, so I'm going to say single run. Oh, man, that takes forever. Is that seriously how long that thing's going to take? Now, I think uh, we might be able to s cheat here. Let's see. Over. I've got some overclockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's put eight of them in there and see what happens. Yeah, that's a lot faster. I mean, it's pulling a lot more power. Oh, my goodness. It uses so much power to make one of those. That's way too many. Okay. I mean, that's certainly working. 
It just takes forever. Okay, well, let's let those run. Let's let that happen. See, that doesn't... I don't understand what, like, the big deal is. <laughs> I mean, I know that that's kind of cool, right? That you can replicate things using UU Matter, but still... Come on, man. I mean, that takes forever. I don't really see what the big deal is. I'm having trouble understanding what the big deal is. Because I could make circuits all day long. I mean, now we've sort of got it down to a science where we could just crank out circuits like nobody's business. So I don't really see the big deal. I mean, there might be a big deal. Maybe one of you guys know what the big deal is. But I don't know what it is. Okay, so let's take a look here. We're going to make this uh, replicator. Rep no, what's it called? A transformer? This guy. Yeah, okay. So... We need two of those circuits. All right. We need two more here. What do we need here? Anything special? No. That's just all like standard stuff. That's not a problem. Okay. None of that stuff's a problem for us. This is like the biggest problem. So we need to make some of this irradiated reinforced glass. Okay. We need to make some of that. And then we need to make... So we need... How many of these do we need? We need six. Six of these. So that means I need 36 reinforced glass. And of course this gives me seven. That is a, so 36 reinforced glass and then that gives me no one of these okay irradiated and this is uranium okay okay all right well let's see can we make some of this reinforced glass let's take a look and see if we can't make some of that first of all all right can i make some of course i'm out of glass okay do I have glass? No. I know where I can get some glass, though, so it's not a problem. Not glass, but I know where I can get some sand, and we can crank some out really quick. So I'm going to have extra. Do I have... Um, let me see. Do I have some um, reinforced... I do. Okay, so I have five. Oh, no. I have more than that. Um, no, I don't have more than that, but I have this. Okay, and how many alloy deals? 31. Okay, I'm in good shape there. Okay, let's grab from this guy. Okay, and I, I want to make sure this is turned never active. It's fine. Okay, and I'm going to throw this in there. All right, you start doing your deal. Uh, what was I getting out of here? Oh, sand. Okay, we'll get four stacks. All right, while I'm up here, let me just take a look and see what else I need. So these guys right here, I need this. So I need tin and coal dust. So I'm not sure why I'm crushing up copper. Let me see. Uh, tin. Coal I can start. Let's go ahead and get some coal going. Let's take this out. And let's put this in. Right? You do your deal. Crusher guy. All right, and then tin. I've got some downstairs. Okay. I think everything else we need is probably downstairs. See if my crazy, like, single circuit using ridiculous amounts of materials is done. Yeah. Hooray. <laughs> There's one of our advanced circuits. Oh, I don't know. I don't understand what the big deal is here, honestly. Let me go check something really quick. Can I make iridium? in that guy. Oh, hello. What is something? Okay. Can I make iridium in that? And if so, what's it cost? But it's going to cost me one to scan it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll scan... Oh, wait. Do I... Did I already scan it? Let's bring this with me. Okay, it's not killing me or anything. Okay, good. Did I already scan? I was looking for my other piece... I thought I had a piece of iridium. I guess I don't. Let's see if it'll go in the scanner. I don't have it in there. Okay. Oh, here, by the way, let me throw these in here and let these get smelted up. Okay. All right, so can I put one of these in here? Okay, I can. All right, let's let that scan. Man, that's going to be... Hopefully, it doesn't take, like, 50 buckets or anything like that. Let's grab uh, these guys. Let's wait till we get a stack. Okay, grab those out. And now, can I make some more of this reinforced glass stuff? 
Uh, eight. I don't really know how much I need. Eight more. That might be enough. Okay. And now let me see if I can make these guys. Can I make these? Irradiated uranium. Okay, I know I have some uranium. I think I can just make that. I think I have all the pieces parts for that. Can I make like uh, 12 of these? Eight? I think I have uranium. Yeah. Okay. And now can I make this crazy stuff? These guys. Let me make four. Six. Okay, there's those. Okay, those are done. Okay, there we go. That's that's some good progress. Alright, and now we need to make these guys, which is why I need coal dust. I need tin and I need some copper plates. Do I have copper plates? Let's see. Uh, bronze? No, I don't. Okay, but we can probably get some copper. Do we have some copper in here? Yeah, let's go ahead and just get a stack of this. And we'll turn it into blocks. Like so. And then we can run that through the sky and get that. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> and I can put this away. Is my scan job done here? Let's see. No, almost. We'll let that keep going. All right, let me put this in here that I'm carrying around with me. And we'll just get that taken care of at the moment. Okay, what else do we need for this crazy molecular transformer? Okay, we need these guys. So that's coal powder and tin dust. Okay, so if I put... If I take this... No, this. If I take this out of here, right, and I take a stack of tin and I run it through this guy it should grind it does it not grind it oh it's still processing all this stuff okay and I can throw that in there and let it do its deal okay so that'll give me a stack of tin I could have put coal in there I guess too right okay so how do we make these guys again no nope, not those these okay we need these things so that's a copper plate tin and carbon dust was just coal coal works okay so let's grab these there's my copper plates there's my tin dust almost that's probably enough let's head on upstairs I'm getting a little bit of frame rate lag I don't know exactly what it is I have a feeling it's probably stuff this these IT IC2 machines that are going a little bit of going a little bit haywire I mean it's not too bad I mean everything's fine but where's my coal dust okay so can I make all of these things that I need to make. Oh yeah, that was some definite frame rate issues there. Okay, so let's make these. How many of these can I make? I need how many? Eight of these little guys. Okay. Seven. Okay, there we go. There's eight. Let's grab all these things back. Okay, and now this and these guys. Two. Okay, there's my two of those. Okay, so now I have the glass and the thing, and I just need this. All right, let's go down and see if our scan is done. I feel like we're getting long. That's okay. If I have to go off camera, I will. Okay, scanner, done. Oh, 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 that's nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you get to produce in this. Okay. I just need one for now. Let's go ahead and crank it out really quick. That's pretty quick. So I could certainly make iridium that way. I mean, that to me, uh, I would assume it's probably even more. I mean, I would assume the EU requirements kind of work out. Uh, that makes sense to me that they would. Okay, so now I have four of those. Okay, now can I make this crazy thing this one of those okay and then I'm making this and then I should be able to make this right bang okay so there's my MT core awesome okay and now I needed some advanced machine casings which is this can I make four of these yes okay and then can I make four of these 
I can make one of those. I need some steel. Okay, steel. Steel block. Okay, go like this. Go here and go like uh, four. Okay, that's good. And put those in there and you do your deal. Okay? All right, you do your deal. Okay, I tell you what, let me go off camera and make all these pieces parts, right? So we're, we're trying to make the molecular transformer, uh, molecular transformer, this guy right here. So I need to get some more advanced circuits. I need to get these advanced machine casings. I got to make these crazy things, which is going to require one of those and then this and this so we can make all this stuff so let me get all the pieces parts together for this molecular transformer we'll come down and we'll hook it up and then we'll take a look and see how this crazy thing works oh my goodness i'll see you in just a second Alrighty, my friends we are back i think we're ready i think we're ready to make this thing man it's been a lot of crafting no doubt for sure let's see uh let's get this open and let's take a look here and see i have a feeling i'm missing one circuit yeah okay so let's make a circuit i, f I think i have all the pieces parts that i can make one man <laughs> restonia crystal this whole empowered deal that is probably the biggest bottleneck one of the biggest bottlenecks the empowered um, items from actually additions no question this is a bottleneck which kind of makes sense if you're going to use uh you matter to make those i mean you can sort of get around some of those things but man oh day good gravy those things are no joke but anyway let's make this guy ba bang there is our molecular transformer okay so you will notice I have my radiation suit in my inventory. That can only mean one thing. It's time to go messing around with nuclear power related items. Oh, how are these guys doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me get some of these. I've been making tons of iron plates. I mean, like, tons of them. So let's go and put all of these in here and have those go through and make these. Yes. You go up there and do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, fuel rod. Get all these out of here. These need to go way up here. Okay? Into this. And make some more. Okay. Let's make some quad fuel rods. Uh, let's see. We can probably just make them in here. So let's see what we can do here. Quad fuel rods. Let's get our reactor fired back up. How many of these can we make? Eight? Uh, can I make... I need 21. How many is that? Seven? Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. So let's go down here. Let's grab, before we do that, though, let's grab some iron. Let's grab some iron. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's head down here. And you, one of you guys said, hey, I have a great idea for what you can use your nuclear reactor for since you've got this sort of advanced generator thing. By the way, we're going to, we're working towards getting rid of those crazy advanced generators. The dang things make me crazy. Okay, is this off? Okay, so let's put these in here. All right, you guys go in here. And you guys go in here. All right, let's turn these guys on. Okay, we'll turn those on. And then we'll put down this. Okay. Oh, man, let me just put this guy right here. I think he takes whatever power he can be sent. Man, I hope so. If not, it's good. Oh, you don't, don't blow up or anything. All right, do you have power? All right, now, if I put this in here. EUN, 420 EU. I want more. Why is there not more power coming into this crazy thing? Okay, input iron ingot, output iridium ore. But I want more, 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 more. Okay, so if I take, these guys are producing 420? Yeah, so if I take these, let's shut this down. Let's shut this reactor offline a second. Can he take more than 420, I wonder? Let's, so this guy should still be taking 420 in? Yeah, he is. Okay, let's see if we can cheat this thing a little bit and get more power into these things and have all three of these reactors working towards the path of just producing iridium ore. That's all I care about at the moment. Okay, so if I take this guy, hmm, how am I going to get power out of this? Uh, let's grab these and more. Okay, let's see. Can I do something tricky like run 
this like here there and run across the floor like this okay no I guess 420 EU per tick is all this guy can take in is that true that seems just kind of strange okay well I guess that's just all it can do huh okay for some reason I thought maybe it would be making more than that well I'll tell you what we're gonna do then we're gonna shut this down all right so here's what we'll hook back our cables up the normal way the way we had them before shut this guy down okay do I have some kind of blocks I can stand on let me grab some all right, and we can go, I don't know, it doesn't matter what it is, I guess. We'll just use our old friendly neighborhood and a site. So if I run this across, like to here, hook that up, okay, bust these down, and then we'll come over here. So then I guess technically I can just keep these guys going like so, right? These guys could, this one could be, these guys can be off. And this thing right here can just produce its 420 EU per tick. And this thing is just going to go. So it's going to take 9 million EU. So we're not going to be getting ridiculous amounts of iridium out of this. But I can run this entire nuclear reactor until it runs into the ground. And produce however much I can produce. And then I can come over here and turn this guy on and just repeat the process. So we could do that. There's probably a way we could set that up where it would just sort of daisy chain them. But nah, I'm okay. I'm not too worried about that. So there's that. There's our molecular transformer. We're producing iridium. I think, I was looking around on what different types of stuff we can make iridium or use for iridium, and I figured it out. I think I have a plan. I think what we can make is some advanced solar panels. No, hybrid. Hybrid solar panels? Hybrid solar panels. Yeah, so one of these guys right here. So we need some more of these advanced circuits, obviously. We need some iridium reinforced plate, which we already know how to make. We need some enriched scenarium. And scenarium is this ir irradiant uranium, which we have tons of uranium ingots. So we can make these. And we need a scenarium. And scenarium happens to be made in the molecular transformer as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, scenarium part. And that is glowstone, million EU. Yes, we can make a bunch of that. We could probably make um, several of those. So we can make this, right? And circuits are easy. This is now easy. That's easy. What is this right here? So we need to make some more of this irradiant glass panels, some advanced alloy, some more circuits. What is this craziness right here? Okay, scenario in part, that's easy. Reinforced iridium plate. It's all of these guys around one of these which is just an iridium ingot iridium ingot which we could get in the press compressor okay yeah so we can make some of these solar panels right and then and i think each one of these i want to say it's 64 maybe rf a tick and then we can take a bunch of those we might even be able to make these i don't know we'll see if this if this recipe works i think though these guys are super expensive yeah i mean that's pretty expensive um, this is pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's probably equally difficult to make each of these. The only difference is we don't need all those raggedy circuits. Lapis lazuli, advanced solar panel. Cold chunks are just these guys. That's easy to make. We can make those all day long. Okay. And then I think the ultimate gives us 512 EU per tick. Could you imagine that right now, upstairs in that crazy advanced generator setup where we're chopping down trees and converting it into wood pulp and doing all this crazy stuff back and forth, up and down, sideways, and hating it, and it's taking forever, and we're st stressing out about all this kind of wood chopping down and all that kind of stuff. We can make a couple of these and have essentially unlimited EU forever. So maybe we'll work towards down that path. I've got some other things I need to do, but man, we're going to work on that next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from the age of engineering where we started, up the, started out the episode a little broke down, but we're making progress. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.